YouTube. So here is, uh, we entered a prize on uh, YouTube for J-Rock for his subscriber contest and he actually pulled our name. And I just received the two things that he sent to us. So he sent us the RC Pro-Am and the Duck Hunt Mario uh, combo. So I just got it in the mail and I just wanted to say a special thanks to J-Rock for well, picking our name. Uh, and uh, check out our subscriber contest and see uh, see if you can win something similar to this. We've got some NES games up for grabs. We have some PlayStation games, I think. Mike's got something in, in the works to give away too. So check out our subscriber contest. Once we get to 150, we'll be sending, uh, sending you out uh, your package. So we'll be drawing on a live video. Um, and like I said, special thanks to J-Rock. Keep up the good work, buddy. And uh, see you on YouTube. So a lot of people ask me, how did you, um, where did you buy these display cases that you have here? And the answer is, I actually built these, and it was relatively cheap. So if you have any semi-handy hands to build something like this, it's pretty straightforward. So basically, what you're seeing on top of here is a solid uh, piece of glass. And what that is, is an actual uh, sliding door from, from a house. So if you go to a reuse center, you can find a sliding door, whatever size, it doesn't matter, because you're going to customize it to the shape that you built. So you take the sliding door and you unscrew the frame around it, and it leaves you with these two panes of glass. So these are super heavy and super awkward to carry, but once you get them into position, then you're golden. So basically what you do is you get the measurement of this actual glass, <clears throat> and you build your frame based on that. So if you don't even have a skill saw, you could go to Home Depot, they'll cut the custom piece for you, which is like the first three cuts that they do is uh, is free, and then after that it's a dollar a cut. So it works out to be cheap. So first order of business is you get these legs at the bottom, which you could get for even at the reuse center as well. So any like reuse uh, place should have these, and they're, they range from like $5 to $10 at the most, or you could buy them from Home Depot, and I think they're about $35. So once you get that, you build the bottom base of your table, which just builds a standard issue table. And then you buy, inside here, there's the um, two by three uh, pieces that, that basically lift your glass so it's kind of floating. And then you buy your trim pieces to mold around the actual size of your glass. And last but not least, you install your glass, but you leave one of these trim pieces off the side so you're able to slide in the glass. So on this side, I don't have a trim piece, but once the glass is in, you could put that trim piece in, but I still haven't finalized how I want to lay out this collection. So once you do that, you can paint the whole thing, whatever custom color you want, and you built yourself a display case for probably under $50. So that's basically it. So I built two of them, and it's nice because everything's protected, and it actually still acts as a table if you want to put anything on top of it, right? So that's my display unit for under $50. So... Check it out. You can find a lot of stuff at the Reuse Center. So for tips on how to build stuff, like I'm in the process right now of building something, a secret project for Mike. So you'll see videos in the whole process from beginning to end, and maybe you want to build something similar. Thank you. Subscribe. Check us out. Like. All that fun stuff. Peace.